Hey everybody, how you doing? Okay, today I think I'll do a video of what's in Andy's toolbox. You see all the stuff I work on, and I'll show you this, some of the stuff I use. This is like my main box, this is like the overspill box, but this has all my sockets in it. So these are all the sockets, um, the Torx bits, uh, the inverted Torx, which are the other way around. You can see that. I got those. And all of the hex drives. Metric. Swivel sockets. Metric. And, and American. Adapters. Extensions. Miscellaneous screwdrivers. I got some of these. I don't even know what to do with them. This is a pretty popular drawer here. It's got my tape, my scissors, and extractors, and knives, and just generic garbage. More knives. This is like uh, the very bits in here. Miscellaneous junk. Razor blades. Yeah, just crap. You don't know where to put it. Here's all the ratchets. Half inch, three eighths, quarter inch. A couple extensions. Um, this is one of the a right ratchet. That's pretty nice. Uh, some extension wobble head hex when you can't get down deep basic screwdrivers and stuff um, there's a couple custom ones that I made where the hell is it this is one that I made when I used to work at Amcor transmissions um, for prying stuff off so I made that one uh, stapler department and various garbage pencils pencil sharpener just some more of those long bits I don't even know what's in here what's in here Mystery, what's in here? This one-handed stuff is crazy. Okay, speed lock set with different bits. Tells you how much I use that. Um, scrapers, various screwdrivers and cutters and pliers and you name it, it's in there. All of my tin snips and wood bits. And like that. And this is... This one here is putting V-notches in plumbing ductwork. So when you gotta fold that little tab down, that does that. I've got benders, straight cutters, pretty much everything I need in here. This is uh, whatever it is. Screws, junk. Whatever just I decide to throw in here, I throw in here. A lot of my old air connectors, some of that. Sticky things, pulleys, shit. Another screw drawer. This is basically screws that I just throw in here. Some loops for when I'm holding stuff down on trailers. A drawer that's stuck. Uh, okay, Milwaukee assortment. We've got some plastic rivets, O rings, another O rings. And this is really nice. Everybody needs these. There's a whole case of different kind of uh, plastic rivets to use on cars and all that got that in there another smaller kit of the same thing squeaky ass drawer this is a garbage drawer so so whatever's in here is just i haven't seen in a million years got a lot of those but that's basically that led lights and stuff and so that's basically like the junk tray on the side i've got my wd and lithium and crap like that over to the main box is this is wrench city in here so this is where I got my crow's feet American standard I got my ratchet sockets the ratchet wrenches a couple of these um, let's see bought one of these they've got all like the security tips you go to Walmart you can't take a light switch off well you can with these so those are that. We'll go down the main center. Voice Grip City. Got voice grips coming out the yin yang. Um, different players and stuff. Snap rings. These angle cutters I just bought. They're kind of cool. This should be in the other drawer because this is for bending metal. And Crescent Wrench City. I got Big Joe back here for the stubborn stuff that wants to break my balls. Um, just various 
runs. These are for uh, these are for trailer hitch balls for the to tighten the nuts down. So if you have the small one or the the bigger one, that's what that is. Pry bars, and you're gonna see a lot of these because when these go on sale for $9.99 at Harbor Freight, I buy them. This is an unusual set. This is a, a pipe plug remover. These are all three-inch drive, but different sides of plugs. You may see a plug in something and it's got a square head. This is what goes in there. So I've got the male and female. So you see a plug in something, you can't get them out. That's what they use these for. This is a garbage collector. Anything I don't know what I want to do with, it gets thrown in here. So, yep, got a little bit of everything in there. That's what that is. Over here is all my new connectors because I changed my airlines over. So these are all my new ones. And uh, these are the bearings for my wind turbine. Different types of uh, tools for popping panels out of cars. Chisels, flat chisels, hooks, and like that. Support your police stickers. All the long reach plastic pipe snippers, all my long reach ones. Got these at tractor supply. If you notice, some of this stuff is getting surface rust on it from being in my garage. So, what I do is I steal wool and I spray them with WD 40, and that stops that. But uh, here we go. You know what these are different punches, pry bars, and whatnot in there. Um, this is actually, this one is actually a stainless steel bone chisel. So, this has probably cut some bones on people. So these are, this is for in the hospital to use because that is stainless, says it right on it. I don't know how I got this, but, oh, somebody's name's on it. Uh, something Hospital Center, Memorial. St. Luke's Memorial Hospital Center. <laughs> I don't even know how I got that, but this, I guess this used to be at St. Luke's Memorial Hospital Center. And it says it's made in Germany, so. That's weird. Never noticed that. Um, taps, punches, all the extra crap from all the Harbor Freight lights. So I got my stamping set. Uh, the Drill Bit City. And another brand new drill bit. These are my uh, seal drivers. So when I'm putting bearings and bushings in, that's my seal driver kit. And the handle to my toolbox is in there because I don't need the handle on it because the handle was here, I took it off to join this cabinet. Okay, there's that side. Electrical department, basically. These are my favorite cutters in the whole wide world talked about those before I got a bunch of relays and you know you name it I mean this is the best tape you can get right here that is awesome stuff they don't give it away but it's worth every dime uh, drawer number two of electrical crap connectors fuses I got a fuse block or something I'll make later on who knows um, yeah fuse city hammers it's hammer time Break stuff, my break area, my little buffers, uh, hand impact. That works awesome. I wish I had that when I was doing my brakes in front of the car. Uh, various assortment of lock keys. Look familiar? I use a lot of these making my uh, go kart. More connectors, set screws, shrink wrap, you know, the snap rings. This is a stapler air stapler my crappy ass soldering gun and there's my other air stapler so that does it now we're down to this one um, I bought this box off Tucci's hot rod down there in Utica the custom car builder he had a bunch of these I bought one I love it in here my heat gun my tin working stuff for my tin shears and this is a tin crimper and riveter pullers more hammer times 
my impact drill was drilling through concrete. This drawer is like the buffer area. So I've got different sanders, buffers, um, wax applicators. Um, keep your hands clear stickers from my other stuff. Grinders, sanders, a whole box of discs. My drill my dad had, half inch drive drill. Am I going too fast? Just basic pipe wrenches. Some of these I had made. I stole Andy's pen. <laughs> uh, extra charger in there. Lights. My Milwaukee saw. My electrical department of everything. 12 volt and 110 volt stuff in there. And then the last one. Circular saw, scroll saw. That used to be my grandfather's. That's that big half inch drive impact I bought with the socket set and some other just crap. So ba that basically sums up all of Andy's toolbox. I mean, I still got stuff hanging up here. You know, I bought new metric and American and I got some Bosch tips and sanding discs and nut drivers and that stops squeaky floors. Yeah. Then of course I got the welders and then we'll just wander over here so you can see the I think I showed you this before this is all my Milwaukee stuff Milwaukee I just used this I just greased my mower deck the saw the bandsaw angle drill half the 3 8 drive ratchet then uh, yeah the impact electric impact this is an impact driver this here is also a um, god hammer drill, drill and hammer drill. My little mini saws all my life. And then when I get into the big stuff where I need something a little bit heavy dutier, well then I come up to this. I come up to the big bandsaw, and then I've got my regular full size sawzall. And then if I have to cut metal, I've got a chop saw back there. That's been around forever. So that's basically my arsenal of tools, hammers. So that's it. Um, that's basically uh, all my crap that I use. Did I show you that I put my other hose reel in? I think I might have. I can't remember. Got the other hose reel installed up here in the door. Um, I ordered a new hose that's coming today in the mail. Because this hose, the inner one that connects in here, is leaking right on the seam. So you can't bend it because it leaks. So I'll be replacing that. That'll have a red hose on it pretty soon. I found another hose I had that's a 25 footer that about 20 minutes ago, I just put new ends on this. I had this in a box, so I just put the new ends on it so I can extend out 25 more feet. So I've got enough air hose to run all the way out to the damn road, for Christ's sakes. So, all right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed What's in Andy's Toolbox. It was kind of fun. And uh, that's it. So have a great day. Like, subscribe, and share. And you know all about the airbags. I think I covered everything. All right, that's it. Goodbye.